Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. We are back for a four month update for Mr. Kyler. He is four months and he is rocking his St. Patty's Day shirt. It says kiss me, huh? Say so it is March 14th. Kyler is officially four months old. And I know I say this every single time, but I cannot believe that he is four months old. Does he look any different from his three month update? Does he look any chunkier, huh? He's looking at the stuff behind us. All right, so for his four month update, he is still wearing six month clothing. And that's actually this t-shirt might be a little bit bigger just because I wanted him to wear Asher's St. Patty's Day shirt. But he's still in six month clothing. He's still wearing size three diapers. Um, I do still randomly put three month clothing on him, but you can tell that it's just fits him. Kyler is doing really good with his head control. He is able to, um, we do a lot of tummy time, let me just say. And, um, he will be on his tummy and he sticks his head up so high and he holds it up for quite some time. So he is doing really good with tummy time. And I, I thank my kids for that because they are constantly putting him like on his tummy. If he's laying on his back, they'll like turn him over to his tummy. And so he's gotten really, really good with head control. I mean, really good with head control. He does have a spot in the back of his head, which he favors, which is this side right here. I don't know if you guys can kind of see. And um, the pediatrician, whenever I had him at the um, doctor's office not too long ago, she said that she did notice that it's kind of feeling a little bit flat on this side. And she had told me to try and do a little more uh, tummy time. So we've been doing a lot more tummy time and he's doing really, really good. And, but yeah, he still has like, he's starting to get a bald spot in this little spot. But anytime he lays down or when he goes to bed or anything like that, he always likes to lay on this side of his head. So she also told me to try and get him to like all his attention on the other side as well, which we've been doing. We've been trying to make sure that if we lay him on the ground, we put him at an angle where he's gonna turn his head this way. So we've been doing that as well. So another thing, I don't know if I talked about, he, Kyler got really, really bad cradle cap, like majorly bad cradle cap. We ended up getting him some specific shampoo that the doctor prescribed for us. It was called like Ketazone. And we have probably done it at least five times. And to me, it's still there. I mean, he had it really bad, so I don't know if that's why, but um, you know, I had to lather it in and try and get it all out, but it's still kind of there. But for the most part, it is going away. And I've noticed that it's taken a lot of his hair away with it. So he's losing his hair, but that's okay. Uh, it is okay. All right, so back to tummy time. So Kyler has rolled from belly to back numerous times. There was a point where we were putting him on his tummy and he just kept rolling over, rolling over. He just did not want to be on his tummy. But um, so yeah, he rolls over from tummy to back just as of the day before, which was yesterday. On the 13th, he rolled from back to belly and he did it all by himself. And today he didn't do it at all, but I'm counting that as rolling from back to belly. So officially before we turn four months, he rolled a tummy to belly or tummy to back and back to belly. So I think that's pretty cool. Kyler has no teeth. And honestly, I don't really see any signs of him getting any, any teeth anytime soon. My other two got their teeth a little bit after they turned five months. So I'm thinking that's probably gonna be the same for him. Another thing Kyler has been doing is he has found his voice, which I think is the most adorable thing ever. He will just sit there and just go, ah, huh. what are you doing? You gonna do it for us? I think I might have um, it recorded maybe, possibly. I'm not really sure. Kyler. <laughs> But yeah, he will just sit there and just talk, 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 talk. And I think it is the cutest thing ever. He just loves hearing his voice because he finally like figured out like, oh my gosh, if I do this, like it makes a noise. And I think that is just so cool. <sighs> See, what else? Toys, he's doing really good with toys. Anytime I give him a toy, he will grab it and he will try and put it right in his mouth. He, I have found him like numerous times like looking at his hand, holding a toy and switching it to his other hand and kind of just like watching it and seeing, you know, figuring out how to use his hands. And he's definitely really intrigued by it. He's like really watching and he grabs at things. I have put him in his bouncer as of this month. And although he's not bouncing in it yet, 
he's like looking around at all the things and he's grabbing for them and just he's not really too entertained in his bouncer yet he kind of like will sit in it if i sit next to him but um for the most part he just likes to look at all the stuff that he has we have one of those beepos it's like this robot thing and it like plays like the lights up and sings he absolutely loves that he will just sit there and watch that and he will try and grab at it another thing that he's been doing which is kind of crazy to me is when he's on he's like sucking on my own hand right now is when he's on his tummy he like lifts his butt up like he's trying to scoot and i could i swear there's been times where i've walked out of the room and i came back in and he's like moved at a different angle and so i think like he is kind of like scooting himself not like a lot but just a little bit that i've noticed that he's like moved a little bit so i think that's kind of cool which None of my kids ever did that this early, but it's kind of neat to see him do that. You are like really sucking on my hand. So Kyler is still breastfeeding. We are at like every three hours, which seems like a lot to me. But yeah, normally every three hours. He's such a good baby though, that if like I'm busy or if we're out in a store and it's like due for him to eat, I can just hold him or just entertain him and he kind of just forgets about it. He's not really like on a fixed schedule where it's like okay it's one o'clock like i'm gonna scream until you feed me if it's like time for him to eat and i kind of like you know entertain him or hold him he's content as long as he's like with me and being held by me he's so content he is definitely a mama's boy because i will say that i've had to run out or do some things and he will scream and cry for my mom and he's he never does that for me like if he's hungry like i normally if i go and run out i will make sure i feed him right before i leave and um but there's times where he's just like he will just scream for my mom and like for anybody that other than me and he just like will scream and then you know he'll fall asleep or something but he just like it's like he knows he knows he's not in mommy's hands huh in mommy's arms right mm. yeah so um i'm trying to think what possibly else there could be that we could say hmm. he's really good on his legs like he can like put a lot like he's like I can feel him like standing. Hmm. Yeah, so you put you put a lot of weight on your legs, huh? He can stand. He is 15 pounds. I actually just weighed him. I actually just weighed him today. He's exactly 15 pounds. So he is getting big. Hmm. I don't know what else. I feel like there's probably something. Oh, I totally forgot. Like one of the main things. We started eating food. Um, baby food. I started him two weeks before he turned four months. I know some people are you know, like do that about a week before they turn four months, but we started like two weeks just because we're going to Disney and I wanted to kind of like get him used to it. So we started off with pears. He absolutely loved the pears. We did peas. He absolutely hated the peas. And then we switched to banana and oh my goodness, I felt like he ate the whole entire container and I felt like he was like mad because it was gone. Um, after peas, we did carrots, which is what we're currently on right now. And he doesn't mind them. The one, I feel like there's certain spoons that, I have two different spoons that I've been using. And, um, I have one that's like longer. And I'm thinking that he's not a big fan of that spoon because that he was gagging with that. And I think that is because of the spoon. <laughs> so I'm going to try test that out and kind of pay more attention to that and see. But yeah, he doesn't seem to mind carrots. So we're actually leaving for Disney and um, I'm just going to do bananas and apples. So he hasn't had apples yet, but I'm just going to do that at Disney the whole entire time just to like, because I know that he likes that. So yeah, he's doing really good. It's so crazy how you can tell from like the first time just him spitting out, spitting out to now he like takes it and he eats it and he barely spits anything out now. So I mean, that's going on almost two weeks and he's doing really good. So yeah, he's definitely liking that. And it's funny because ever since I started feeding him on a spoon, I've noticed that now anytime I'm eating and I'm holding him, he's like really watching me eat and just kind of like he gets it. He's like, wait a minute, like you feed me on a spoon. Like that's like food. Like I think I like that. So it's kind of like he's like understanding like what food is. So it's kind of neat. But um, he still gets up in the middle of the night. He does not sleep through the night. I probably get up at least twice in the middle of the night but the nice thing is is that when i do feed him he does go straight to bed and he sleeps for a good like four hour gap so that is nice but then he gets up and he's hungry and he wants to eat but he sleeps in um sometimes until like 7 38 
and he's such a good boy I can put him in his little chair and I can jump in the shower and he would just hang out there and not cry and be a good boy huh but I'm getting a little tired now it's actually late it's getting ready to be his bedtime so I'm gonna get him ready for bed but I think that is everything I will give you guys another update when we turn five months I think these are fun these will be nice to look back at whenever you get bigger huh yeah see what kind of baby you are huh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you in our next video say bye ready say Shh.